Hey everyone, Jangro here. Welcome back to my Craftoria world. I'm not going to call this a series, but I am enjoying Craftoria so much that I figured I'd continue this world, at least for some mod tutorials. Watch the first video. We introduced Craftoria and got started on Mechanism, as you can see behind me here. Check out the quest book, a new section called The Completionist. It's a cool new chapter to give you some incentive to go through each of the chapters in this book. And today we're going to continue with mechanism and look at multiplying ores. To do that, we need a silk touch solution, which we'll take care of. And we need to optimize this power generation with the heat generators behind me. There's some stuff I skipped in the last video, so we'll take care of that. Stick around. Before we get into it, please give me just a few seconds to thank our sponsor, Apex Hosting. I moved my Craftoria world to an Apex server so I can access it from a few different computers, invite friends to join in. Plus, I don't have to worry about backups. It's super easy to get set up with their one-click mod pack installation. They've got always on servers, which makes hosting stress-free. If you're thinking of setting up your own server, Apex hosting is a great way to go. If you do, use this discount code and my link, jangor.com slash Apex. That supports the channel. Thanks for your support. All right, let's get into mechanism. In the comments last time, a few of you pointed out to me that I did not set up the heat generators as optimally as I could have. That's because not all sides of these generators are touching lava and you can lava log them. So let's just fix that quickly. I'm gonna break these things. Okay, now if we take a look at these, this one's producing 20.8 Fe per tick. You can see right here, the lava's flowing underneath these. So it has four sides, top, back, left, and bottom. This one only has three sides, top, back, and bottom, because it's got these generators on their sides. So there's a couple things we can do here. We can lava log a generator. So if I right click on it with a lava bucket, it'll fill it with lava. And now it's got an essentially an extra side. This one also is benefiting now from this one being lava logged. But so if we lava log these generators, now they're producing 38. And there's one more thing we can do is lava log these cables to get the front side. So let's put these machines back down again. So lava won't pour all over the place. So this one's doing 38.4, put lava right here. But now these two are producing 48 now. Put the machine back here again and we'll lava log this one. So that's giving us like maybe three times the generation that we had before, much better. Did I get that right, guys? 48 Fe per tick, is that the max you can get out of a heat generator? All right, so today we're going to talk about ore multiplying with mechanism. We can get two times through five times with mechanism. So if we look at an iron ingot, you can see that obviously iron ingots are made in the smelter and iron dust smelts into iron ingots. Let's look at how to get iron dust. So the enrichment chamber, we saw this last time, three raw iron gives us four iron dust. However, one iron ore gives us in an enrichment chamber gives us two iron dust. So if we can silk touch iron ores, we can immediately get ore doubling with only the enrichment chamber. Of course, we need silk touch. We're gonna take care of that next. So there's the first way. We just take those two, smelt them, we get ore doubling, but that is not good enough. We can do better with fortune on a pickaxe. You can get about 2.2 times with fortune three, and I think it's like 2.6 times with fortune four. So let's take a look again at the iron dust. We can also get iron dust from dirty iron dust, and we get dirty iron dust from an iron clump in a crusher. Now, how do we get iron clumps? We put iron ore into purification chamber with oxygen. It just so happens we have oxygen in our hydrolytic separator that we made last time. If we put raw iron into here, we're gonna get ore doubling. So this is where the tripling happens out at this level. And from here, it just goes one-to-one -one all the way down to dust. So that's three times. Let's dig deeper. So we go out to the iron clump, Another thing that makes iron clumps is an iron shard, one-to-one. -one. How do we get an iron shard? We get that in a chemical injection chamber from iron ores, and we get four of them. And that carries down from here. Iron shard turns into iron clump. Iron clump turns into dirty iron dust. Dirty iron dust turns into iron dust. So that's four times ore multiplication with a chemical injection chamber. But look, there's a way to get iron shards, and that is from iron crystals. And iron crystals come from hydrogen chloride in a chemical injection chamber, which come from clean iron slurry, 200 millibuckets, comes from dirty iron slurry, one-to-one, -one, comes from block of iron ore, and we get a thousand millibuckets. So a thousand millibuckets from one iron ore, 200 millibuckets down a few levels, that gives us five times 
for multiplying by going through this entire process. We're only going to do tripling in this episode. Quadrupling and quintupling involves a lot of chemicals and fluids and things like that, as you see. So that's for another time. And again, to get to tripling, three iron clumps come from a purification chamber. So this is the new machine we need to make today. And that's gonna use the oxygen that we already have. Now, of course, we need to work with iron ores, not raw iron, so we need to get silk touch. If we do a quick search for silk touch, we can see that there's an upgrade on mining gadgets to do silk touch. I think that's probably going to be our best way. To do that, we need golden apple. We need five slime balls. Now, this episode is not about mining gadgets, but it is about mechanism. Where this is relevant is that we can make slime balls with mechanism. If we put clay balls into a metallurgic infuser that has biomass in it, we can get slime balls. Got some cheap and easy slime balls. All we need is a new metallurgic infuser and to get some biomass. We can make biomass just with a crusher from many different organic materials here. We get a lot of vegetables growing over here, so we're going to be able to get some good biomass. And we need a metallurgic infuser to put the biomass in. I've already got one. We made one of those last time. Let's put it right on top of the crusher so we can transfer stuff. I think I should be able to put a cable right there. Yep. And let's just grab some vegetables. Now, if we put these things in the crusher, let's see. That's going to turn into biomass. And let's push these things out the top. They are going into the yellow slot automatically. So that's perfect. So now we're going to get all that filling up with biomass. Let's go find some clay while that's cr crushing. 28 is enough for now. And if we put these in here. Okay, while that's working, let's make our mining gadget. So we need a basic mining gadget here. Okay, I think we have everything we need for the mining gadget. Okay, there's the upgrade module, mining gadget, slime balls. And to make the silk touch upgrade, we need another blank upgrade and we need a golden apple. So four for three on the enrichment chamber. This is the last time we're gonna get such a poor conversion on our ores. Oh, and we need an apple from an apple tree. All right, there's our golden apple and the silk touch upgrade. There's that. And we need a modification table. All right, let's tuck this right down here. Yeah, we put this in here. There we go. Now it's got silk touch on it. And we need to charge this thing. I that in here. Is that going to charge it? We'll get that fully charged and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go see this thing work. We've got some iron ore here. Three iron ore. We got some diamond ore too. Did not expect to find that. Okay, well, that's enough of that. We've got, we just needed a few test ores. All right, well, that was pretty fun. I put the mining gadget back in the heated generator. Now let's triple these ores we got. To set up for this, there's a couple machines we already have made, a crusher and an enrichment chamber. So I've already got those. New machines, a purification chamber. We also need an energized smelter to round out this. I should have made this last time. I didn't quite have the materials. We're going to put this whole setup right here. And I'm gonna do this in like a, a grid because things are gonna flow around this circle. Now, the enrichment chamber, I'll put right here. This is ore doubling. Let's make an energized smelter. That's easy. And we'll put this right here. Uh, let's get a barrel, a couple barrels too. This is going to be our output right here off this energized smelter. We'll configure this right here. Output is on the right. Input below is on the bottom. Perfect. Here, configure the output for the enrichment chamber is going to go up into the smelter. So let's put one copper ore in here. And we'll watch this get doubled. Those two copper went up into the energized smelter. Copper dust, that is. And I didn't turn eject on, so we'll do that. And the completed ingots come out into this barrel. There we go. Or doubling. Easy. So now we need a purification chamber, which, as you recall, gives us tripling on, on ores. Purification chamber is pretty easy to make. We do need to make a new 
item here called the advanced control circuit. We need two of those. And for that, we need stuff we've already made, basic control circuit and infused alloy. Infused alloy comes from copper infused with redstone. And the basic control circuit is osmium infused with redstone. I've already got some of these made. Let's quickly make two advanced control circuits. And now we can make, oh, we need another enrichment chamber. Easy. Purification chamber. There we go. Let's do it like this. And we also have these in the wrong order now. It's going to look like this. Let's first make sure we have the electrolytic separator configured to output oxygen on the right side. So chemicals, output two. It was configured that at first, eject on. You don't want to get the wrong chemical into a machine. It's a bit of work to get it pulled out again. So now we'll put the purification chamber down here. We want oxygen in it. Perfect. Next, we're going to push the output of that up into this crusher. The output, we change the top to output for the crusher. Eject on. Over here, we need the enrichment chamber. This is going to be configured to input from the left and output on the bottom. Eject is on already. And then the energized smelter down here. The energized smelter is configured for the input on the top, barrel on the right. This is it. Now we've got tripling. So if we put copper in here, it's taking oxygen and turning it into three copper clumps. These three copper clumps are going to each get crushed into one dirty copper dust. Why is that extracting? E eject was set to off, turn that on. That goes over here into the enrichment chamber and those go down into the smelter. Everything else is flowing through here. And we can also put iron in here. Here we go. We've got triple copper. And as we can see here, we just got triple iron. All that's going, there are upgrades. Right here, mechanism has several upgrades, one of which is a speed upgrade, which you probably want to get to first. I don't know, maybe you want the muffling upgrade first, but the speed upgrade will help speed up these machines and this process can go really fast. But you do want to be careful not to get too quickly into that because more speed uses more power and probably a little bit light on power at this point. There we go. Three iron, three copper. And there you have it. We have ore doubling and tripling. Tripling is just as easy as getting doubling. So you might as well go straight there. Next time we'll talk about how to get items into and out of with pipes and we'll progress even further in some more mechanism. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.